Hello, Reef DVMs coming at you here with an investment in our future for Reef DVMs. Uh, we decided to uh, get ourselves uh, kind of a tablet PC here by Dell. Um, this is the packing slip. Uh, sorry, it's a little hard to read. But um, we're going to use this PC to work with Reef DVMs and interact with our uh, digital reef keepers and so forth and monitor our tanks. Um, it's a really nice uh, PC, we're told, so we're going to pull it out of the box here and within the next hour or so get it set up and uh, be able to get online and uh, get to our IP address and check out our tanks which are running on the internet already with uh, wireless devices. Um, we bought some added things with this one, bought a storage device and a little memory card reader because we've got so many different memory cards for the different cameras. Uh, this uh, Belkin thing should work really good for us. This Dell is made to be small and compact and yet uh, be able to be used like a uh, tablet P PC, which is nice. Um, it's actually a full version PC that can flip its screen around. You can use it as a touch screen. We feel this will be really good for when we want to leave this on the counter and still be able to interact with Reef DVMs both online and uh, through our tanks and monitoring. So really like what we've got here. Uh, this one comes with uh, the uh, six cell battery in it. We got it with uh, eight gigabytes of uh, of, of RAM, uh, the Intel 7 processor, some big processor, and standard power cord and stuff all came with it. It comes with uh, 256 uh, gigabyte uh, solid state drive and um, I like the keyboard. It's it's one of those light up keyboards. That's kind of nice. And of course, it's it's all set up for Windows 8 Pro, which is good. Um, it's got the the 4.0 Bluetooth in it, and the uh, USBs are 3.0 and 2.0, which is good. Comes with the three year warranties. This is what we like. So at this point, you kind of get a look at it. It's really nice and thin. I, I you know again that profile is just amazing on it. It's light. Um, it seems really well constructed. So this is what we're going to use. Let's uh, get this thing fired up. It's going to take a few minutes. Um, I'll let it go through a couple Windows updates. Then I'm going to see if I can take it online right away here and um, see if this thing will uh, go do what we want it to do. Here we are. We're going to come and get this thing online. This background picture, by the way, was installed on it when we got it, so we'll get that updated. Get ourselves over here onto Google. Uh, get our IP address here typed in on the top. And then we'll go see if we can get to our digital reef keepers. And it looks like we can, which is good. Um, they're running on a wireless system downstairs in the basement. Um, one of the first things I like to do when I get into the reef keeper is just kind of get a look at the uh, overall picture of how things look. Uh, this is the main uh, screen. Tells you kind of what the voltage parameters are, pH, and so forth. This one happens to be one of the 55 gallons in the tank. Um, this uh, web server 2.0 which interacts with the digital aquatics reef keeper is pretty nice. Um, if you go up to the top here you can go down and, and click your graphs and you can look at your graphs. Unfortunately this computer hasn't been running very long, a matter of uh, minutes now, so unfortunately it isn't going to graph uh, much. But I'll go back in the history and I'll pull you a graph out here in a second. Yeah, there's our pH graph but it's like for the last hour. But uh, here's uh, the last uh, 12 hours or so. Um, kind of bouncing up and down a little bit. Uh, it just happens to do with how the auto top off is, is dumping in the calc wasser on this particular tank. Again, this uh, sensor graph is for the pH. This is exactly what we want this for. We want this to be able to interact with you folks on Google and on YouTube and on our website and Facebook. And then yet at the same point in time, always be hooked up to our tanks and uh, be able to monitor our systems um, at this point in time. You know, we've got a couple systems on the digital reef keeper, and soon we'll have one on the Apex. So this little beast will be just what we want for that. I really, really like how this works. And again, if we flip it flat and lay it on a counter like this, where it's out of the way, or we stick it on our lap when we're sitting on the sofas and want to work with it, this is why I like this. This touch screen is great. You can interact with it very, very easily. Thank you for watching, folks. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. But this is the latest tool that we're going to use, a Dell XPS12, um, to advance uh, the Reef DVMs. Um, and again, hopefully it works great over the next couple months as we get more videos produced. Thank you.